In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the flush valve, which is the flapper and its little seat and the overflow tube. This toilet's having a problem. How I can tell it's having a problem is it's doing this. What's causing this problem is the flush valve. It's the little flappy thing down at the bottom. How we can tell that the flapper is, is having a problem is, for one thing, it's, its little pivot pin is busted off. It's uh, not in good condition. It's kind of dried out and, and kind of cracked a little bit. And then the little vat, its little seat is also very corroded and it's almost eroded as well. Now you could probably you could probably clean that up and just replace the the little flapper. But I think that's in pretty bad condition, so I'm going to replace this one. To replace the flush valve, you need to turn off the water, remove the excess water from in the tank, loosen up and remove those two bolts. There's nuts that hold those guys underneath. And then the fill valve, we need to remove its supply line. This is the flush valve kit that we're going to use. They sell another style which is a little bit more flexible for different applications. But this one is almost a direct replacement, so we're going to use this one. It comes with everything you need. The overflow, a new gasket for here, and a new flapper, and new bolts. There are another set of nuts on these bolts, so we need to take these guys off so we can replace them. Uh, take that old grimy thing off as well. To take off this big nut, you're going to need something that is a little bit bigger. In this case, I'm going to use this pipe wrench. I'm working this on both sides. I've got my left hand on the inside turning it and, the, and my right hand turning on the other side. As you can see, that's kind of grimy. So let's just uh, get some cleaner, some 409 or something and just clean that up a little bit. Before we start putting things back together, we want to make sure that we are putting in something that is gonna, gonna fit properly. This is a three inch, what we're taking out, and this is a three inch that we're putting in, so that's a good fit. The overflow tube is slightly longer on the new one, so we need to make sure that when it's installed, it doesn't extend beyond the top of the tank and that's gonna that's gonna work fine so now let's start putting it back together place the flush valve and overflow tube in put the little nut on this nut doesn't need to go on super tight We just need to, to snug it up. The only reason the other one was so hard to take off 
was because the uh, all the corrosion, all the corrosion on that was causing the problem. Now we can put our bolts back in and we need a rubber washer on this side. A rubber washer on this side. A metal washer. And the nut. These don't need to be super tight as well. We just want to snug them up. Place the flange gasket on. And we are ready to put this back on the toilet. You want to get these wing nuts kind of tight. If you have a little bit of wobble, That'll be okay as long as you don't have any leaks. Once you have the tank back on, it's time to install the fill tube and make sure that it doesn't interfere with the, uh, the operation of the, the handle. Now here is our new flapper. We'll put him on his little, little pivot posts and then we will run the, the handle up and it looks like we may have to adjust it a little bit. I've got the supply line attached, everything is tight. Now let's turn on the water and look for leaks. Okay, I filled it up with a little bit of water and I've looked for leaks and everything's fine. So let's fill it up a little bit more. And I'm gonna check again for leaks. Where we're looking for leaks is at the fill valve and then around that gasket underneath. And everything seems to be going fine, so let's fill it up all the way. It's filled up all the way. We don't have that trickling leak going through the, the flush valve. Check the operation to make sure it flushes okay. Well, there we are. We've replaced the flush valve and now we don't have a leak and we won't be wasting a ton of water every day.